Ja, ik kom hier speciaal voor Jeffrey aan. Ja, inderdaad. Ja, een hele speciale. Ja. Zo'n uh, gruwelijke doorzetter uh, gewoon rijden. Gans erop. Very excited for the home GP, you know, uh, and of course Jeffrey's quite good in the one-lap sprint thing. Uh, the start position did not really matter here, but of course it's uh, a mental game, and uh, it was very nice to come out on top. And uh, yeah, very happy. He was riding really good, so ready for an exciting day. Dan gaat dat wel. Kan je hem denk ik in een gat springen morgen? Ik zeker. Maar ik ben benieuwd of ze veel laten liggen of niet? Ja, ik ben benieuwd. Ja, ik denk, ik denk wel als ze de golden zullen pakken. Ja, maar voor de rest. So, um, this is basically the gear for tomorrow. Um, for home GP. Up here in uh, Os and uh, the Netherlands. I wanted that the red, white, blue. As you could see, there's a red, white, blue flag. Obviously, a little bit of gold. Because um, they called me the one of the best in the sand. Um, we're gonna show you tomorrow if that's still are, yes or no. Yeah, hopefully we're gonna rock that gear tomorrow and uh, look good. Yeah, he's gonna go eight from inside. Eight, eight from inside. So middle of the inside gate, let's say. Tire wears a lot, or? If maybe we just brush. Just take a good brush. Yeah. You still take the wheel. We'll take the wheel because it's here. So we'll keep it to the plan, and then I'll just take it to the thing. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Nou, zodat je op het moment bezig is, het is heel knap. En uh, ik zie ja, eigenlijk zijn, zijn zelfvertrouwen weer wat groeien. Door een paar heel ernstige blessures gehad. Ik dacht, kan hij nog ooit het tempo halen? En, uh, Zodat je nu bezig is, zie ik hem terug kan er komen in de top. Zet even een andere wiel. Ja. Best lap. The race mechanic changes the tires um, after cycling lap because we want to have a nice clean tire for uh, for the maximum traction that we can on the on the start. Het, die twee seizoenen die hij heeft gemist, hij heeft hem ook gevormd hoe dat hij nu in de sport staat, zeg maar. En ik hoop ook persoonlijk dan dat hij ook wat meer van de sport gaat genieten. Ja, ja, maar jij zit van Niemand die er zo hard voor werkt als wij. Dus dat komt altijd op zijn plaats, op zo'n baan. Geniet ervan, jongen. Jeffrey Hurling is on pole for the third time this year, with only four races in as well. Only has nine Grand Prix victories on home soil. He'll be looking to make it ten. All things go well. There's Bradley Mars on the way up, but it's going to be Ivo Monticelli. He runs wide, he misses the foxhole shot line. It's Hurling's steals through, and it's uh, Kovnoff alongside him, the two Dutch riders. Oh! Jumped on the back by Monticelli, but Jeffrey's still up. Very crazy. Monticelli all over the back of Hurlings. Oh, and the left shoulder and arm, bicep. No wonder he was shaking his left arm out. You see that? I think he's hurt. I, I think he's hurt. And he's not done yet. Despite that incident early on in the race, he's somehow got himself back into this race. Oh, and he runs it down the inside of the Kawasaki rider. We've got a Dutch one too. The roof is off. Can you get ice here? Because he got jumped on the shoulder by Monticelli. I would like to put ice on the shoulder straight away. Can you ask the medical or, so, or something? He is not given up. He will not give up. Running on adrenaline, I think you'd say. And all heart and emotion. 
This is where he found his way past Vivra and Apigo, and he does exactly the same, but hard, cold enough for Perlix leads. Jeffrey Hurlings wins race one, doesn't even celebrate that left arm glued to the left side of the handlebar. What a performance from the 84. You want Britain's determination, it was served up on a gold platter right there. I've got, uh, I've got Dr. De Bruyne here with me, so he can... Here. Don't put too much towel, because then it makes no sense. Sides. It makes no sense if you put too much towel. Congratulations, some aggressive riding for you, but just tell us, how hurt are you from that coming together with Monticelli at the first lap? I don't know, man. I don't know why things like this may happen, man. Just use your brain. Like, I jumped normal first lap, but somebody just hit me on my shoulder, and like, I can't even move my arm up right now. I don't know. But guess what makes race when I finish, but I couldn't hold from the pain, so it's very devastating. Hopefully everything is okay. But it was really painful to ride, and I can't believe I still won with that thing, because every jump, it felt horrible. So I want to give it to the Red Bull KTM race team for the great job, and We'll work for me. Okay, good luck for the second race. You want some ice, Jeff? Oh, Jeff, you can do the truck in the side. Okay. Because there's a knuzzing alone on the spiers. That's fantastic. Oh, he wants new ones. Oh, I think we need one. Ai, ai, ai. Dat is heel man. Ja, maar die kwam daar vol snelheid omhoog en... Oh. Make a scan, because I'm not sure it's only... Kom. Ik heb misschien een scan maken. Ja, die, die, die kan ik u aandragen. Oh, we moeten een scan voor elkaar rijden. Ik kan niet rijden zo, volgens mij is het goed. Nee, dat kan ik me voorstellen. Ik kan Quite sure. Of course, there was a big uh, muscle bruise and, and, and the impact of the of the guy. But Jeffrey said straight away, "I feel there's something not right." And I was like, "Ah, but nothing won't be broken. It's just the impact." And he's like, "Nah, I'm not sure." So we got the CT scan done, and yeah, he proved us wrong again. You know, there was a crack, and uh, yeah, we're looking at three, four weeks. But at this point, if you want to win the championship, we don't have three, four weeks. Our whole lives go go into this thing, you know, and then. For six months, you ride and you practice, and nothing goes wrong. And then something out of your control goes wrong. So ah, it's just very tough mentally, you know. Especially with our history, you know, we 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 had already so much bad luck, and it's it's really really tough to swallow. We're true warriors, you know. We don't give up that easy, and. Uh, yeah, I think we. It's not over until it's over. At that moment, I knew something was wrong because I didn't see it coming. Like literally, somebody, like somebody from the air, just dropped a bomb on me. Like I was screaming in my helmet with every single jump. The first lap, I was screaming. I think even the fans would have heard me because every time I landed, I was just screaming from the pain. But at that time, I didn't know what was up. Was it my shoulder broken? Was it? that my, my shoulder popped out like for a really short amount of time. Is my collarbone broken? I don't know, I felt something moving around my shoulder. I have my fingers crossed like, let's please not have something happen because I <laughs> I just want, finally want to, you know, fight for a championship and beat at all races and especially not be knocked out with something I couldn't do anything about. So we got a CT scan straight after that moto and boom, there was broken, broken shoulder blade. I felt like I wanted to go home, like deep inside. Like I didn't even have tears to cry for because I felt empty. I was feeling empty inside when I drove home after the race. And I felt like I don't deserve this. I deserve being out there, battling those guys. And yeah, it definitely, definitely hurts. 
I know this was going to be my turning point. I knew going, I, I was so well trained. And now we're just looking 23 points down. <sighs> yeah, it's this a uh, tough pill to swallow. But it's part of racing. And it's going to be tomorrow, Monday morning again. And yeah, new day, new chances. And it will just continue. The doctor just came around, uh, said, yeah, OK, strength is unbelievable that came back, but he's, he's not convinced it's going to last all day. I, I hope to be two times within top 10. That's my goal. Everything I take more is, is, is as a big victory to me. Yeah, it's just to stand the pain and, and, and see where we get today, you know, keep the championship uh, chase alive.